he just always repeats what Scar says, and then like he he always has like these little like mocking like preemptive. Like a, a good example is in a uh, Genesis. Like Armada started getting ahead of uh, Mango, and he's like saying this thing like, "This is a lot of damage." He's just making himself look like a like an idiot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tof commentary at Evo was really bad. Uh, I can't really remember it too much, but I'm I'm sure it was. Oh, he wasn't he sick and everything. Oh yeah, he was sick. He was coughing into the mic. Like I'm I mean, actually sorry. Go. I get I get people like him and everything, and like he should be up there because he's really well experienced. But like if he's sick and he's coughing into the mic, like it's mm -hmm. okay to replace him. Like I, it's sad that they have to, but they really should have. I'm impressed with Scar Tof Pool's commentary the most. Because I feel like they're able to craft a narrative out of the most, like, ridiculous, like, who the hell is this match ever, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, Yad is saying it, he just wasn't trying, but real quick, that was fast stock by DSC. I didn't see what happened, but Jesus. He just down smashed. Yeah. Um, Elise says, I don't think Poof likes Toph. Uh, uh, he, he hates Scar and Toph commentary. I'm pretty sure he's indifferent to the two of them uh, on their own. Yeah. Uh, I, I think their pools come to was phenomenal. I didn't catch any of that. Or I think I caught like a little bit of Tope with someone else. Mm -hmm. And like he doesn't I think it was Vro. And like it didn't feel like they blended well at all. But uh Yada was saying he just wasn't trying. I don't think he wasn't trying. I think he was he was trying and that was part of the problem because he was sick and probably tired and it was like hard for him to find stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. But then like because he was trying so hard it might have like brought out some of them that like normally isn't there so people saying preemptively in the chat but guys you're talking about commentators not doing their job when you're not talking about the match these two play like every other day every week and every time drug free chew just gives them the work yeah. so this is <laughs> so we don't have to commentate see ya yeah I'm later peace um oh no oh the my bacon. god it's fine though that always looks so cool when that happens. And like, you know they didn't mean to do it, but you're always hoping for that follow-up, like, maybe he did. Um, yeah, I don't know. Evil commentary. I, if I had, if you were like, hey, Connor, I need a, a really good esports commentator for my, for my Chicago tournament, Jackzilla. Instant. Instant yeah. Jackzilla. That being said, not the largest fan of Jackzilla's style, just because it's like, it's a very... It's esports, you know? Yeah. And yeah. his esports commentary is so good, but it's just like over overbearing to me sometimes. Yeah. In I, certain I think situations. I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean yeah, I like him a lot. No, yeah, uh, I think he's a great, great commentator. Webbs don't think I could co commentate with him. Yeah. Webbs is a really smart commentator, but he's so monotonous, it's so hard to listen to. You think to he's him. monotonous? Oh very. I think he does really well when he's paired with someone energetic. Yeah, yeah, like I it think it definitely him and brings Fendi up the are actually surprisingly good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought Jackzilla did a really, really good job, especially on the big stage. He's starting to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I hear Jackzilla commentate, and I'm like baseball. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's doing baseball commentary. I like that. Where he can just keep going, and he can think of something new to say, literally as he's inhaling yeah. mid sentence. There was I, one stock. Um, I don't remember who it was. It was, um... Oh, shit. Uh, it was a, a huge upset. Um, Gucci. It was Gucci versus oh, yeah. Leffen. And he just had, like, the most poetic, like, pre-scripted thing. Like, Gucci, you're here to play. And I was like, that's so... <laughs> yeah. That's so clever like, and so esports. I, I hear a lot of people say, like, oh, this person came to play. But, like, the way, like... Uh, the way the context it's you the put delivery, it in and the yeah. way he says it, like... It doesn't seem like annoying and overused. <laughs> Cause like, oh my god, like Crimson Blur. <laughs> he always uses like the like whatever I think somebody Blur says. Blur commentary like, is pretty good. Yeah, whatever people say is like typical commentator though, like nice back air and stuff like that. <laughs> like Blur always uses all of those. And yeah. He uses them very, very loudly. Literally, yeah. And like the most like unintense situation, he's like yelling. I'm like, Jesus Christ, let's just take it easy. Yeah, just relax. <laughs> I was really impressed by Vro's commentary. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear him as much. No. You know, just because, like, when I when I listened to Vro and Jackzilla, the thing I think they did the best is they had, well, and this is just a personal thing, obviously not everyone's going to agree with me, 
Um, I think their roles were so easy to pick out and really well planned and defined. Yeah. Down, down throw to down smashes. Nice coverage. Um, I think it's like... So when I listen to Vro and Jackzilla, Jackzilla holding down play-by-play. -play, holding it down. And yeah. then Vro clutch analysis. And I think that's super good. I just think that sometimes the line was blurred a little bit. And sometimes I think that Jackzilla should have let Vro like interject just a little bit. I don't know. It's like a yeah, like it's the, hard to find that dynamic, you know. Yeah, like kind of where like you're having a conversation, but you're also speaking to something or something yeah, else. Yeah, like okay, when I commentate with you, I'm like Koopy. Koopy's play-by-play -play, uh, is is sick. Like I don't need to do play-by-play, -play. and so I can just sit and I know you're gonna finish your sentences and say well thought out phrases, and then I can analyze and say why it was a good yeah. option or and I could just like redirect my brain power to that thing. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like like commentators do too much. Like Smash 4 commentators. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'll let you talk. No, that's fine. You're good. Uh, I was watching SNS3 and it was Kony and EE e. and I was like this is absolutely insane. Just the level of like esports and well thought out their phrases are. I, I don't know if I can do it, but it's like it'll say, uh, Drive True Fitness Conversion following up off throw and taking game three. And it's like, as soon as they're done talking, Coney will be like, that's right, EE. E. Oh, and C Sharp yeah. picking his bands, he's going, he goes random, he messed up. But, I like uh, that a lot about But Coney. thinking back, uh, going to, uh, back to the character left screen, going into this game three. Going to Fountain of Dreams. Stop. Instant EEs. Like, that's right. And he's just like, yeah. how do you do that? Do you have hand signals? And yeah. it's like, I feel like if the roles were a bit more defined, it wouldn't be so, like... It was just, like, a flow of talking where it's, like, constant volume. Like, and almost like, like they practice. Exactly. I mean, I'm all for hand signals and stuff, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... Yeah, Yada saying in chat, people do have different things they value out of commentators. Yeah, I'm, like, very critical over commentating. Like, I hate, I don't like Toph, I don't like Blur, I don't like Fender. Uh, like, I don't, I don't like anyone who uses too much, like, smash memes, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like, it just, like, we heard it once before, and the second time it was kind of funny, like, yeah, I remember that. Then the third time and beyond, it's like, please, give it a rest. Yeah. I don't know, it's like, you gotta gauge your audience. Yeah. I mean, commentating Smash and Splash or Evo is different than a weekly, because here at the weekly, we basically podcast it. Yeah, I, um, I agree with that. I mean, I, I turn the dial up and down as to whether or not I'm talking about the match. Just not, I've been focusing on the games, just because the talent is so stacked, and I kind of want new viewers to, to tune in and be like, oh, this is what they're about. Yeah, I but that. typically, if it's just like, what's happening now... It's usually like Drug Free Chew versus Chris, and Drug Free Chew's giving him the work. And yeah. it's like, I, am I going to talk about this? But no. I mean, don't, these guys play all the time. I just don't don't feel the need. Um, right. That, like, it, this match kind of like explains itself Like if you watch it and pay attention. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying it shouldn't be commentated, but like, it's, it's kind of easy to follow along. Yeah. Oh my like, god, the, so the invisible again. yeah, the invisible cape hurt box expanding. Catch him with the fair. And then um, he chaired him right into his bacon. Chat talking about Coney and EE. E. I like I the both of them a lot. I like them a lot, but like I was saying, uh, the my only only complaint, because I think they're phenomenal, is just that sometimes it just becomes like a wash of of action happening. Where it's like constantly everything is super hype. <laughs> and I get it, but at the same time, it's like, I need a breather. I need a breather, man. Yeah. Because like EE e can make the most mundane thing. I, I talked about this on commentary like three weeks ago, where he's like, he, he just pulls stuff out of his ass. Like, not in a bad way. <laughs> just in like, how did you come up with that? Where he's like, Meta Knight up throwing Game Watch, like that time I went to the store yeah, and got just... this hot dog. And just like that, uh, C sharp hot dog and drug free chew. And it's like, where did that come from? You just made like a self-sustaining yeah. commentary meme 
just like by yourself, that was incredible. I, uh, th yeah, I was about to mention that earlier. Like he'll say something like, "Oh, he's chain grabbing this man like a bull of pad Thai," and like it yeah, and then like it doesn't make 30 sense. Thirty seconds later, he brings back pad Thai, and yeah, it's like, like oh. <laughs> 